back over the Grand National Fences again then now for the Grand Sefton. Two more five furlongs, 0 to 140. And Craskend Avenue is at the top for Darren Thompson. San Pedro owner, Vinnie Gerard, Periquitum, Sweevy, Graham Clutterbuck, The Witch Queen, Joshua Sutherland. El Centro Air, Vinnie Gerard, About Me, James Shea, Radiant Heart, Leon Van Rensburg, City Delight, Jim Murray, Emotional, Joshua Sutherland, Paperweight Walker, David Robertson, Pot of Cash, Craig Beckwith, Ready to Go, and Zena Marbell for Padre Hogan, Ipanema Plot, Alex Cherry, Ortia Abbey, Matt Cooper, Event Horizon, Craig Beckwith, Orange Cassidy, Matt Cooper, Spring Elite, Padme, Alex Cherry, and Fort Greyburn, Jim Murray. So, some decent side fields on day one. They're away and racing. It's going to be San Pedro Erner who runs the first. Oh, that's a fall at the first there. Paperweight Walker's gone. Looked like San Pedro Erner was going to go as well. But he got over it okay in the end. I think they're heading to the chair now. Indeed they are. And it's Craskend Avenue who's got the lead. And there's a fall at there. Orange Cassidy. Well, there you go. Ask something that doesn't exist. To make a fall of you and it will if you know what i mean because if you watched the previous race over this course i said i don't think i'd ever seen anything fall at the chair i must have commentated on goodness knows how many races over this course in the last eight years and the one time i decide to say i don't think i've ever seen anything fall at the chair the very next re very next race something falls at the chair that's what you call well, you know what you call it. Anyway, Cross Kent Avenue is in the lead. Maybe it's time for me to retire from this. <laughs> Well, I've still got some sort of credibility left. Anyway, Cross Kent Avenue is the leader. From San Pedro Werner in second. Fort Greyburn is third. Then Ipanema Plod and Emotional. The one that fell at the chair, by the way, was Orange Cassidy. So, I'm not very pleased about it, Matt Cooper. But I think you can probably claim to be the only person who's ever fallen at the chair and ready to go has gone now at the back for Padre Hogan but it's Craskend Avenue in front from San Pedro Werner and the Witch Queen as they get to this big ditch which they all get over okay Zena Marbell is a little bit detached out the back it's Craskend Avenue who's going to lead them over the seventh safely over that one San Pedro in a second, the Witch Queen is third, the Grey closest to us. He's at Periquitum Sweevy as they all get over the one before Beaches. And they head down there to Beaches Brook. With Craskend Avenue in front. I'll safely have a Beaches with Craskend Avenue in front. San Pedro Werner is in second, then the Witch Queen and Springley Padme. The emotional and El Centro here. Oh, and there's a faller at the back there. About me, he's gone at the Fawn Haven fence, the smallest fence on the track apart from the water. Quite often takes something out there as they come down to the canal turn. And there's another one down there, San Pedro Werner this time. So the fall is coming thick and fast in this one. And Craskend Avenue, though, in the lead, is continuing. To go okay. We've got one of John Morgan horse in this, so we can't blame him this time. In fact, make them all go too fast. It's Craskin every in front. Ipanema Plot is second. The Witch Queen is third. Then El Centro Air is after that one. Mistake by the other village on horse there, El Centro Air. Pot of Cash is moving forward nicely. So to his event horizon. But they're beginning to bunch now as they get over the 14th. And just three plain fences left to go. And now they're starting to bunch into a formation akin to a six furlong sprint. Craskend Avenue on the inside still just in the lead but look at this Zena Marbella was right out the back not too long ago. It's now cruised through to take it up so Zena Marbella has gone on. Going to try and get over to the fence as well and does so. Craskend Avenue trying to respond in second. Periquitum Sweevy is closest to us in third. Then we've got Radiant Heart Fort Greyburn, the Witch Queen, Ipanema Plod all virtually in a line. Pot of Cash is going wide on the track but he's still there. Emotional's not out of it either neither's event horizon city delight is trying to get into it as well i think maybe the rest of them 
are out of it, but it's Zena Marbell who's gone on then by three lengths coming down to the final two, and then they're being long running. Over the second last, Zena Marbell lands in the lead. From Emotional, who's jumped up into second. Then comes Periquitum, Sweevy, Ipanema, Plod, Pots of Cash on the outside. Then Fort Greyburn and City Delight trying to get into it. They've still got one more fence to take, and then the long running. Over the final fence they go, and it's Zena Marbell from Emotional in second. Periquitum, Sweevy, Pot of Cash up the centre of the track. Ipanema, Plod still there, so is Radiant Heart. The Witch Queen's not out of it either, but closest to us, Pots of Cash looks to be going well. Emotional and Pot of Cash are the two as they go past the elbow. Pot of Cash and the yeah, Emotional. Emotional at the centre of the track. He's just about in front. Pot of Cash now looks beaten. Radiant Heart is trying to close on the leader. It's going to be close as they come to the line. It's going to be just Emotional from Radiant Heart. The Witch Queen event horizon after that. El Centro here finished quite well. I think Spring Elite Padme may have dropped out to finish last of the finishers. I'm not going to call that one wrong. Emotional's definitely won that one. For Joshua Sutherland with Radiant Heart, second for Leon van Rensburg. Event Horizon for Craig Beck with third. The Witch Queen, Joshua Sutherland, fourth. And Pot of Cash for Craig Beckwith was fifth.